if you're going to get a filler in your lips, there's a couple of things you need to know. The first thing is you want hyaluronic acid fillers. It's soft, it's flexible, it's natural, and it's reversible. So if for any reason you don't like how your lips look, there's an enzyme that can be injected to erase it. So I'm gonna give you my opinion about what fillers I prefer, but you really should trust your doctor with this. These are all very soft, and they have what's called a low G prime. That means they're very, very soft. My favorite for the lips is Velour. And Velour is made of short chains of hyaluronic acid and long chains of hyaluronic acid. They tend to get a very natural, soft result. All of these are really great fillers for the body of the lip, the pink part of the lip. It's just that the Juvederm Ultra Plus and the Ultra don't last quite as long as the Velour. That's why I prefer Velour. Now for the lining of the lip, if you're trying to change the shape, you want something stiffer that has a higher G prime so it stays right where you put it and it doesn't move. The stiffest one is Restylane Silk. Now this filler will swell a lot the night that you do it. About six hours after you get injected to about 18 hours you're going to be really swollen and your lips are going to look too big. But the nice thing about the swelling is it tends to prevent you from bruising. Now if you have barcode lines, or they used to call them smoker lines, the little lines on the top of your lip, you need something really soft that's undetectable that nobody's going to see the little ridges when you get it injected. A lot of times when people have that trout mouth or that big upper lip look, it's when they use the wrong kind of filler in those lines. So you need a real soft one and a real thin one, and that's Bellaterra Balance. I jokingly call this the Photoshop filler because it gets rid of all those little lines. So no matter what fit lip filler you're going to use, make sure you go to a doctor who's artistic and make sure you bring a photo of how you want your lips to look because that really helps the doctor. Thanks. I wish you good luck.